We're here with NSU head softball coach Donald Pickett. Coach, the 2019 season is upon us as the Lady Demons head to the Texas Classic to play five games at the University of Texas in their tournament. Uh, it's going to be a, a, a competitive tournament. Texas is ranked number 16 in the preseason. Boise State is receiving votes. You play Texas twice, you play Boise State twice, and then you get a Boston College um, out of the Northeast as well. Uh, what are some things that you're going to be looking for in a, in a competitive field? Well, the first weekend out, I think, you know, you're looking at just your team, you know, playing and doing the things that we've been working on up to this point, uh, trying to be consistent uh, as we can in, in our effort, um, in our attitude, and, and you know, uh, just our focus, uh, just trying to be consistent in those areas. Um, you know, in a game, real game situation, we've been practicing for a while now, and everybody's chiming at the bit to try to play, and we've tried to do some scrimmages and different things like that. but. Um, you know, when you get in that environment, and everything's a little bit faster, and we got to be able to slow it down and be able to do those things uh, during those games. And you know, when you add in that you're playing a very, very competitive schedule, um, on top of that this weekend, then uh, you know it'll be a, really a true test for us and a challenge for us. But you know, I, I'm really happy with the girls uh, and what they've been bringing out at practice. So excited to see what's going to happen when we get out there. You've had a competitive fall and competitive spring practices. Uh, depth seems to be the, the theme of, of this roster, both in the field and in the circle. Um, you don't lose a lot of faces, but there's a lot of competition um, to, to, get, to get those starting spots and those playing time spots. What's, how has that depth helped you this preseason? Girls have really handled that really well, and we've definitely used that to a positive for our team. And, uh, you know, when somebody's not got it that day, there's always somebody else challenging them to, to push them, uh, you know, to make sure that they're getting and doing what they need to be doing consistently. And uh, I think that's just a big thing. I mean, we talk about that all the time as being consistent with what you're doing and uh, trying to get better every day. And uh, I think, you know, having that depth is able, you know, helps, you know, do that without saying it. Um, you know, because everybody knows that they're trying to earn a spot and everybody wants to be out there. Uh, but they're also teammates and, and they're also, you know, care about each other. And, uh, you know, and that, that's our ultimate focus. And I think everybody's using that as a positive for our team. We're going to see a lot of different pitchers in this five game tournament from, from NSU. EC Delafield is, is that returner that, that we'll see. But then we'll see Bronnie Roden, we'll see Sidney LaRivier, we'll see a, a multitude of arms there. What, what do you hope to see out of, out of a young pitching staff, but a pitching staff that has a lot of talent? Well, I just I, I want us to be the staff that, that we're capable of being. And, uh, you know, those names, uh, EC with Sidney and uh, Sammy, uh, Michaela. I mean, uh, Bronte, all those kids are able to throw quality innings for us. And I want to be able to be confident in those kids, that knowing that they're going to answer the bell every day, that we need them out there. And us try to be able to, um, you know, be able to get in front of the momentum shifts uh, with our pitching changes uh, and having the depth that we have. We, we ought to be able to do that as long as those kids bring in the right focus and the right mindset because they're all capable of doing very well, but we've got to work together and we've got to know that we've got to have each other in that staff. Um, and I think that if we do that, then we're going to have a really, really great year. You've got three seniors on this team, but then you look at that junior class and six juniors um, that have a lot of playing time in this system over their first two years. Um, you know, we're going to see a lot of new faces from the freshmen and sophomores, but uh, what, are you, what are you hoping from that junior class as they try to, to forge their own names here? Well, all those juniors have done a lot of things that have been positive for our program. We would just like to see them be more consistent with those things out there on the field. Um, they're all good kids, they work hard, but um, you know, we've got to have them step up and, and grow into that player and be mature and be able to handle those situations and uh, just be the, the player that we know they can be every day, uh, knowing kind of what we're going to get with them and not be on such a roller coaster ride with them. Um, uh, you know, and it goes back to you know, the consistency, but it also goes back to people pushing them in different positions. And I think that they're having to bring that every day in practice. Hopefully it will translate to games. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I think that the junior class is definitely, they've seen everything they could possibly see and been thrown in every situation that they could be thrown in. And uh, that sophomore class and junior class has played a lot of ball games. And uh, with the new uh, kids that we've got coming in, uh, and some of the experience we have at the top of the seniors, it's a good mix uh, to what we're doing. And hopefully uh, they'll go out there and play like they can and, and really uh, come together and, and know that, you know, everybody's doing their part and, and, and trying to do it for the next person. 
Coach, thank you very much. Thanks.